Greetings, Mifflin Punchers. I am Kimberly Mills, your principal, and I'm so excited for all of us to be back in the building together, learning, having fun, and growing. I look forward to seeing you on your day to return based on your cohort. Please remember that if you ever have any questions, concerns, or problems that you can come see me. Let's have a great rest of the school year and go punchers. Welcome back Mifflin Punchers. This is Mrs. Love, the ninth grade assistant principal. We are excited to have you in the building. Welcome back Punchers. I'm Joe Crable, leadership intern here at Mifflin High School and the 10th grade administrator. We are so excited to have you back to finish the 2021 school year. We hope you're safe and we hope you're ready to learn and get back with your friends and get life back to normal. Good afternoon, I'm Mr. Will Coxon. I'm the 11th and 12th grade administrator for Mifflin High School. And I'd like to welcome everyone back to the wonderful, wonderful land of punchers. Go punchers, welcome back to Mifflin High School. Hello Mifflin Punchers, my name is Nurse Dooley and I just wanted to take a couple of seconds to introduce myself to you, especially to the freshmen who are who I have not had an opportunity to meet yet, uh, to the students who are new to the district and to the students who are transferring from another high school. I welcome you and I just want to remind everyone that every day when you are coming to the building you must, must wear a mask and it has to cover your nose and your mouth and we want to make sure for um, parents, guardians, and for students to make sure that students are checking their temperatures every day. If you have a temperature of 100.4 or higher, you are to stay home. If you have any questions concerning that, please call the school and ask to speak with me. Other symptoms that we are asking for you to stay home for are cough, shortness of breath, chest tightness, sore throat, nasal congestion, runny nose, body aches, chills, loss of taste or smell, diarrhea, nausea, or vomiting, or if there's been a recent exposure to someone in your family or in a group that you may have been around that has uh, tested positive for COVID-19. Uh, we are definitely following the CDC guidelines um, and also from the Ohio Department of Health, and we look forward to seeing you when you return. Good morning. Welcome back to Mifflin. Make sure you sanitize your hands, drop your things off in your locker, and then type the first period and breakfast will be delivered to you there. When you're traveling the halls, you're going to abide by the red arrows marked on the floor in accordance to the red arrows marked on this map. In the lower level, you'll come down the ramp to the right of the library and follow a counterclockwise direction when traveling about the classrooms. Where students are traveling in both directions and areas, you'll keep to the right as you walk forward, maintaining at least six feet of distance from other students. The upper level is similar to the lower level. Again, you can see the directions. You'll come up the ramps or down the ramps to the right of the library and return to the left of the library. And when you're in the upper level, you're gonna be moving counterclockwise following the red arrows. To get to and in the commons and cafeteria, as well as in the art and music wings, there will be students traveling in both directions in these hallways, so you'll need to keep to the right-hand side as you walk forward. Again, maintaining at least six feet of distance from your fellow peers. Once we're back to classes, um, you guys will be waiting outside of your classroom, socially distanced, six feet apart. Each teacher will have a bucket with wipes, and as you come in, you'll be handed a wipe to clean off your seat before you start the day. Good morning. Good morning. You won't be able to come into the room though until everybody has left. Welcome to my class, Miss Cole. Yeah. Here's your wipe. Head on in. Ms. Cole is going to clean off all the top surfaces. And once she's satisfied, 
So throw it away, take a seat, and we're ready for the day to begin. The water fountains won't be working, they're turned off, but don't worry, you'll get a water bottle during the day to stay hydrated. All right, it's time for lunch, so make sure when you get in your lunch line, you're staying six feet apart by standing on each of these stickers. And then when you get to the cafeteria, go ahead and have a seat at one of the desks. Make sure you stay seated while you're eating and there's no wondering happened during lunch. got some important Chromebook information for you. I'm Mr. Manget in the library. You can always talk to me and see me about some of these things. Uh, first and foremost, you need to have your Chromebook fully charged when you arrive at school. Fully charged Chromebooks batteries will last about eight hours our entire school day. No spare charges are available. The only thing we have are for what we have existing. So you need to bring your own charger in case you're running low. Uh, three, if your Chromebook's battery runs out or if you brought it to school empty, then you will have to use paper and pencil. Four, do not use your Chromebooks to charge your phone. It will drain your battery. Five, a backpack is great to carry your Chromebook to and from school, but it must be put in a locker while at school. You will be given, given a Chromebook protective sleeve by us and uh, make sure that you put it on and then put your name on it so that way you can identify your Chromebook from everybody else's because it's all going to be the same sleeve. And then lastly, the cafeteria has student desks with storage trays under the seat uh, during your lunch periods. Uh, you need to take your Chromebook with you and you need to put it under that, or in that tray. Don't put it on the floor where it could get stepped on or uh, food or anything else could get on it. So try to keep it in that tray and just try to remember it. You need to take it with you for every class period you go to uh, until the end of the school day, take it home. You can wear khaki pants and a navy blue shirt. It has to have a collar on it. It can be long sleeve or short sleeve. Or you can wear a skirt, ladies, and a, a little color shirt. And it can be long sleeve or short sleeve, but this is the color, this one's color. Or you can wear khaki pants and a gray shirt. And then if you want to wear a jacket or a sweater, it has to be in the black, the blue, or the navy blue. Turn around for me. No writing, okay? And a shout out to our seniors for modeling today for you. Thank you. When we start back in this new hybrid model together that you're able to thrive and have some accountability for yourself as well as find ways to practice self-care, create small rewards for completing your work ahead of time and avoiding procrastination, and most importantly, that we all have a safe end of the year together. I'll see you guys back on Monday. Until then, go punchers.